I, 58 male, feel like I never really knew my wife, 57 female, after seeing the way she handled finding out about our daughters, 25 female, actions. I am aware the title is confusing and unclear, but the situation is complicated. I am overwhelmed and confused and I feel like everything I knew about the people closest to me was a lie. Long story short, my daughter Anna, 25 female, cheated on her boyfriend Adam, 27 male, who I have an amazing relationship with, and is now pregnant. The child is not his. The other man doesn't know yet. Adam was on a business trip that lasted about three weeks. After he came back, I assume Anna told him about the pregnancy, because he called and said he wanted to propose, and if I had any tips for him. Three days later, he comes to drop a wailing Anna off at our house with all of her belongings. Apparently, Anna's friend told him about the cheating. That is the only thing she told us through the crying, Adam didn't say anything, he just took her stuff out of the car and drove off. I was, and still am, deeply disgusted with my daughter. I did my best to raise her well, and I can't believe she would do this. I am not able to offer her any comfort or support, because I just can't justify her actions. She is my daughter and I love her, but I feel such deep disgust. What she did is despicable. I texted Adam, asking if he was okay. He said he'll be fine. As if these conflicting emotions regarding my daughter weren't enough, I have some about my wife and the way she is handling this. My wife Mary, as soon as she saw Anna crying, started to yell at Adam asking what happened, cursing at him after he ignored her. Her reaction just added to my shock. I brought Anna inside while she was yelling and cursing. We comforted her, gave her water and sugar, when she told us what happened through tears. My wife was shushing her, telling her it was going to be okay. But then she started saying things like, you'll find someone better, he wasn't man enough anyway, which disturbed me. She doesn't see anything wrong with what she said. I told her that her daughter did something terrible, and nearly got away with doing that to someone, and that she shouldn't be validated. I'm not saying we should insult her, but we shouldn't validate her choices either. She disagrees and says she needs our support. I really don't know what to do. I'm disgusted by both of them, but at the same time they're my wife and daughter. This is the fourth day since it happened, and Anna is posting on her Facebook things like, men are trash, and bad-mouthing her friend who told Adam. I don't really talk to her. Mary told me, don't you dare talk to her about Adam. I started spending more time out of the house. What do I do? I really need advice on how to handle this. Edit, to clarify, since a lot of you had trouble comprehending this, my goal is to support my daughter in a healthy way, without feeding into her misplaced victimhood like what my wife is doing. I do not think validating her attitude is going to do her any favors. In addition, I sought advice on how to get over this utter lack of morality, integrity and accountability, both my daughter and wife have displayed in the last five days. I do not hate my daughter and I do not think saying, this isn't about you is fair, since this impacted me directly, my view of the people closest to me and my relationships. Once again, thank you to all people that offered helpful advice and support. Now for the top advice of this post. I think you're right to feel the way you do, your wife and daughter are the ones who reacted that way and made mistakes. Her boyfriend isn't the cause of your daughter cheating, and that's some self-internal issues your daughter needs to face. Your wife is probably just in a mother bear state, and has rose-colored glasses on, thinking her baby couldn't do anything wrong. Have you tried being open with your wife about accepting the fact your daughter did cheat on her boyfriend? I suggest working with your wife and coming up with some kind of plan before you go to your daughter with anything. Your daughter is a grown woman, who can make grown-up mistakes without being lectured about it. Sorry if that doesn't make a lot of sense. Thank you for the advice. Your wife is an enabler. That's going to be shocking for most partners to learn about. You can provide support to your daughter whilst not agreeing with her choices. This is a very simple thing, and I'm not sure why your wife cannot grasp this. I would have waited a couple of days before having a serious chat with your daughter about her choices, and letting her know that you absolutely do not agree with them. She doesn't seem to be showing any remorse. Seems to be crying, only because she got caught and couldn't get away with it. So maybe show her a bit of tough love. The last thing your wife should be doing is enabling her horrible behavior. My wife Mary, as soon as she saw Anna crying, started to yell at Adam asking what happened, cursing at him after he ignored her. Her reaction just added to my shock. Mama Bear came out to protect her daughter. At this point Mama Bear didn't know the details, so her reaction is understandable. This is the fourth day since it happened, and Anna is posting on her Facebook things like, men are trash, and bad-mouthing her friend who told Adam. 
Tell her she's welcome to stay with you guys for a while, but you didn't raise her to be this person, and tell her you don't want her posting trashy stuff like this while living in your house. I initially wanted to act like that, because she is an adult and doesn't need to be coddled, but my wife is acting as if everything is okay, and had told me to not make her feel bad. On the other hand, if I don't tell her what I think and have a serious talk with her about her actions and contacting the other man, I'm going to snap sooner or later, and therefore cause another issue. I'm losing patience with my wife as she is ignoring my questions of, do you seriously support this behavior? And why do you think what she did is okay? But threw a fit when she found out I'm still in contact with Adam. Take Adam out of the equation here. He isn't your kid and it's only going to make this more difficult for you. Sit down with your daughter to talk about why she did this, and talk to your wife about how you feel. There might be something missing in this story, or it'll at least force everyone to think about what's happened, hopefully honestly. Get a therapist if needed, because they're good at handling these kinds of things. Agreed. Adam is gone now and he has his own family to help him. Concentrate on what happens now. Now for the next story. My wife, 51 male slash 50 female, had an affair where my daughters, 25 female slash 24 female, knew and never said anything, what can I do to handle this? My wife had an affair with someone from the church choir she was part of. One of my daughters found their mother acting oddly and snooped, which is how they found out she was having an affair. They confronted their mother and told her to end it, she didn't, and they both tried to put it out of mind. I found out when the man's wife contacted me, after finding some old messages two weeks ago. I confronted my wife, then my daughters came forward and it turned out they knew about this for months, and just never said anything because they were afraid it'd ruin our family. My son who they didn't say anything to until after everything came out, told me they said to him that they both thought no one would get hurt if it never got out. The affair went on from early 2018, into somewhere near the end of last year. My daughters have known for about 7 months, at least up until the affair ended. So, it'd be around 9 months now and I found out 2 weeks ago. I'm just devastated all around. My wife and I don't have intimacy anymore. In 2015, she dealt with some extreme depression, and it all but killed her sex drive. We've been once in a while, and it felt like pity action, it got to the point where we had no bedroom life, as that was less humiliating than begging my wife of nearly three decades for some intimacy. I even jokingly, but not entirely, asked if I could find another partner on the side, and she grew enraged. It was some of the most emotion she showed for several years. I'm gutted to learn that she basically shut down our intimate life, took up with someone from church, and had an almost year-long affair with him. And not only did our daughters find out, but no one said anything. Not my daughters. My wife didn't come clean when confronted, and even continued the affair. The only credit is that, the man's wife confirmed my wife did end the affair out of guilt, and they haven't spoken since mid-December or so. I know I'll get flack, but I find it hard not to be utterly disgusted with my daughters. The anger and hurt I feel towards my wife is natural, but I never imagined it'd be possible to feel this way towards my daughters. I would like to think I've been a loving, attentive father, who always supported them. It feels like the past two and a half decades were a joke. I shouldn't feel this way, and I know I should love them, but all I feel towards all of them is intense rage and hurt. I feel betrayed. They should never have ended up in a situation where making such a choice fell on them. But I'd like to think in all the years of being a good parent to them they would have cared enough to say something to the parent who wasn't screwing around. How am I supposed to continue to try and love my girls when they've done this to me? The betrayal from my wife hurts immensely. But my love for her was basically broken the moment I found out. If she'd confessed at the end of her affair, I might still have forgiven her. But my girls knew and never once said anything to me for months. My love for them is supposed to be unconditional and I'm having a difficult time here. This is really testing me as to whether or not my love for my daughters can weather anything. This post isn't about what to do with my wife. It's about dealing with everything to do with my daughters. How am I supposed to deal with this? Now for the top advice. Tell them you feel betrayed and hurt, and that it may take you a long time to forgive them, especially as you were the one being hurt by this, not the other way around. They protected the perpetrator, not the victim. They may have thought they were doing that in protecting you from the truth. But every day they pretended it was all okay, they made the pain so much worse for you when you eventually did find out. Yeah, honestly to a degree, sure. But after mom kept sleeping with the other guy. A simple, mom you stop or we tell dad, would likely have ended it. But she probably convinced them otherwise, and they protected her after that point and not him. 
They're not 12. I would say get a divorce. And move on. You lost your wife already. The daughters, while well you can slowly learn to forgive them. Have you actually sat down and spoken to your daughters about this? Hear fully what they have to say about the situation? Then from there, I would tell them how you feel and how it will take time to move past this. If you have to, try counseling with them, and also alone for yourself. Yes I have, and included it in the post. They struggled with telling me, or not telling me during the months since they found out. But I have to admit, it's really hard to care since they didn't. It doesn't sound to me like they don't care. They went through the trouble to confirm your wife's affair when they were suspicious, and confronted her to make her stop and tell you. That doesn't sound to me like not caring. Someone who didn't care wouldn't put any effort in at all to know the truth. Instead of doing the right thing, your wife put the onus of telling the truth on her children. She left them with information that had huge implications on the future of you and your wife's relationship, and their family as a whole. That's a horrible situation to be put in by your own mother, and I'm not sure that a lot of other 20-year-olds wouldn't do the same if in a similar situation. Don't be mad at them for being too scared to tell you. Be mad at your wife for continuing her selfishness when she had every opportunity to stop, and forcing this situation on her own children. I am angry at my wife. That's not the issue here. I can do what needs to be done with her. But it's difficult not to be angry at my daughters, they aren't children. They're grown adults who are well educated and have their own budding careers and lives, and from where I'm sitting, they chose to ignore the parent carrying out an affair and leave the other one in complete ignorance. It's confusing because I never expected anything like this to happen with them. My wife ended the affair, and I likely would have gone a long time without ever finding out if the guy's wife hadn't stumbled across their old messages. How am I supposed to trust my own children anymore? It may not seem like a black and white situation to a lot of people, but as someone directly involved, it's pretty much split between everyone who knew and me. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for telling my wife it's not cute for her to encourage our teenage daughter to expect her boyfriend to pay for everything in their relationship? Wife and I have been married 18 years, we have our 16-year-old daughter who has been dating a slightly shy slash awkward young man for around 3 to 4 months now. He seems very nervous around my daughter and has admitted in a passing comment here and there to my wife and I, that he can't believe she agreed to date him, and he thinks she's way out of his league. He seems very respectful, just shy. My wife is usually an independent awesome woman, and her ideals align closely with mine, particularly in terms of feminism and equality. We have both striven to raise our daughter to be as independent and capable as possible. Since my daughter has been dating this kid, my wife has changed considerably, and has given our daughter advice that has left me with raised brows more than once. Some of the advice I've heard my wife give is, oh, it's cute for boys to pay for everything, especially in your first relationship. Or, oh honey, don't worry about that, he can pay for you. If he really liked you, he would, and similar. I've tried to balance this out by telling my daughter straight away, two people in a partnership should be contributing equally, and my personal favorite, if someone asks if they can take you out to dinner, it's reasonable to expect them to pay, but if someone asks you to grab dinner with them, it's reasonable to split the payment. I figured that would be an easy way for a young person to understand the difference. However, I've noticed my daughter becoming more and more entitled with her boyfriend's money. They haven't been anywhere obviously since we're home, but the way she talks about him, oh, I'll just ask him to pay for X, etc., leaves a bad taste in my mouth. She has also flippantly bragged slash mentioned that she gets him to buy gift cards for her etc. by mentioning her mother's advice, that is, if you really liked me, you'd pay for X. I spoke to my wife privately and told her my concerns, she insists it's a rite of passage for our girls, and it's cute that she should feel a guy is completely spoiling her. I told her that it's not cute for her to be thinking it's acceptable to view relationships as personal ATMs, and my wife became very angry with me, and is now calling me an a-hole with a lot of hostility. Now for the top comments. It's not cute. Not the a-hole. Your wife is the a-hole. Your daughter is becoming the a-hole. The boy also needs some guidance. But that probably shouldn't come from you. Edit, read the responses to my comment. There are some good arguments that maybe you should consider talking to the boy yourself. I may have been wrong on that part, but you'll have to decide for yourself. None of us need to comment further. This is enough. Encouraging her daughter to exploit her boyfriend financially, and being a fierce, independent woman whose ideals align with yours on feminism and equality, do not compute. Maybe she is not as fierce and independent as you thought. 
I'm wondering if OP is now realizing, that he is in fact a walking ATM to the women in his life. Not the a-hole, ask your wife how she would feel if his dad told his son, if she really liked you, she'd. You get the idea. This this this, OP, you need to state this explicitly to your wife, and not with internet ellipses that leave any room for doubt. How would she feel if the boyfriend's dad told him that if your daughter really liked him, she'd give him an oral, or have ex with him, or try something else sexual that she's not comfortable with? Because that's the path you're setting someone on by making affection measurable and transactional. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content.